Uh, welcome to Shop Dogs How To Videos brought to you by Yard Gear. First thing, of course, as most people would probably guess, it's a full oil change. We use Briggs & Stratton 100% uh, synthetic 5W30 in most of the engines, unless it specifies otherwise. Um, then we're going to change the spark plug, carburetor clean and adjust. Um, we're going to actually clean, clean out the carburetor area, clean up the, the carburetor itself. If it needs any adjustment in terms of uh, idle or tune-up or anything like that, that's going to be done. Um, your spark arrestor, which is in your muffler, if that's clogged, that's going to be clean. Your drive belt condition. So they're going to check the drive belts. So I've got the cover to the drive belts here removed. This is your drive belt right here that, uh, that drives the wheels. And uh, you'll see that that moves just slightly when, when the, uh, the handle is pushed. And then the, uh, you've got your auger belts right here. And they tighten up as your other handle is pushed. So the, the condition of the pulleys, the drive belts and on all, all the related mechanisms in there are going to be checked. The cover is going to be taken off and, and checked out. So the next thing we're going to check is uh, all your bushings, your bearings. So you've got bushings and bearings in here all in the front. Um, you've got bushings and bearings back here. They're all going to be checked. Um, they're actually going to take the grease and any bushings and bearings, including your auger and everything that needs to be greased, they're going to take that and grease it as well. Um, all of your, uh, your cables, if they're an enclosed cable, they're going to be lubed. If it's an open cable such as Arian uses, they're going to take them and make sure that they're adjusted properly. They're going to lube the entire drive system. Um, the chute is going to be lubed. Um, we're going to do a running inspection of the, of, the, uh, of the pulleys, which means we're actually going to run the machine and just have a look with the cover off to make sure that there's no unnecessary vibration in there. So we're going to check the, uh, the condition of the electric starter, make sure that that operates properly, make sure the plug's all in good shape and that the starter is on there firmly, um, and then also check the condition of the pull starter. So they're actually going to take the engine, the pull starter a few times, make sure that the, uh, the, uh, the rope is in good shape and not frayed anywhere and replace that if necessary. They're actually going to check down here your, uh, your skid shoes and your scraper bar, which is right in here. They're going to check that for any excessive wear. They're going to check over the entire machine for all the bolts your handle bolts, all down along here, all your, your fasteners and your bolts that, that hold everything together, make sure nothing's about to rattle loose or, or rattle free. The next thing they're going to do is actually check the condition of the drive. So they're going to take the whole thing right up on its end into its service position, check the condition of the friction wheel. Okay, the friction wheel is right there and runs off of the friction plate. And uh, also we're going to check the condition of the cables inside here, how all that operates your drive gears, lube up the drive chains, grease the gears, and then move out of that section. Finally, what we're going to do once everything's all back together is we're going to start up the machine, make sure it idles properly, and then it's going to sit outside for an hour or so, and we're going to do what we call a cold start, which is going to be the conditions under which it starts most times. So we're going to make sure that the, uh, the machine is nice and cold and that it starts in those conditions. So all in all, we're going to go through over 44 different points to check this snowblower out and make sure that it's tuned up properly.